Fort Kuche. Fort Kuche is located to the west of Vernaculum district in Kerala. This place of tourist attraction lies about 12 kilometers away from Vernaculum town or the central. The first township in Kerala, Matancheri, the first municipality in Kerala. Possessing the unique remains of the life of the Portuguese, Dutch and the English life, Fort Kuche is also home to James, Jews and many other diverse people. For the world of art, it is the Binale Center. Even though it's not a big city, Fort Kuche remains an attraction for the numerous historical, cultural and economic centers that it holds within. For sure, it's one of the unique travel destinations in India. The St. Francis Church Built by the Portuguese in 1503, this was the first European Catholic Church in India. The place where renowned traveler Vasco da Gama was initially buried. Later, it was in the hold of the Dutch and the British and since 1947, it was taken care of by the archaeological department under the government of India. Bastion Bungalow The official residence of the sub-collector Built in the 17th century, it is one of the main tourist attractions in Kochi because of its unique Indo-European making. The Dutch Cemetery Built during the time of Dutch colonization, it's different in a way that each person is buried here with a different posture and their tombs are made to resemble this accordingly. Jain Temple One of the significant temples for Jains all over Kerala, it's built in the Derasar model and thus attracts the tourist's eye. Dutch Palace After raiding a lot of temples, the Dutch built this palace for the Kochi king as an act of goodwill. The ways and methods followed in making temples in Kerala is clearly reflected in the architecture of this palace. Synagogue Being one of the oldest Jew temple in the Commonwealth nations, it's now protected as a memorial. The famous wall clock and floor tiles are the unique features of attraction here. Jew Street is one of the favorite places for all tourists who visit Kochi, holding numerous shops known internationally for the traditional handicrafts. It is the new phase of the interacting culture in Kochi. The narrow streets and the shops on both sides ignite a historical feeling among the tourists. Chinese Fishing Nets The old Chinese technology used for catching fish and Fort Kochi is the only place in the world which still uses this technique. It's a cultural and historical icon of Kochi. The marvelous beauty attract tourists even today. Indo-Portuguese Museum After being closed for a long time, this museum was opened recently for the public. It holds a lot of historical artifacts and documents from the time of Portuguese colonization in India. The museum works close to the Cochin Bishop House, Parayanur Bhagavadi Temple, the most important Hindu temple in Fort Kochi. The deity worshipped is the Parayanur Bhagavati. The ancient architecture of the temple equally attract the believers and the tourists. I'm from England. We are traveling around the world a little bit. <laughs> yes. Traveling in Kochi. Yeah, pretty much. This is the first city here in England. Sorry, so here in India. And I'm really happy to be here. It's a wonderful city. Mm -hmm. Small city full of surprises. Nice flavors, nice people, nice colors. Good flavors. And good flavors as well, yeah. <laughs> Today we've been cycling around Kochi. And it's very beautiful, very nice, lots of color. A lot of um, friendly people. A lot of tourists. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, first time in, in, in India. I mean, so far it's been a really wonderful experience. It's a really good start mm -hmm. of my traveling around India. Bus services to Fort Kochi are available from all parts of the city. There is also a boat service from Ernakulam Boat Jetty. The nearest railway station is Ernakulam Junction, 
which is just about 12 kilometers away. And the nearest airport is the Cochin International Airport that lies 40 kilometers away.